Hello again, you're with Smart Money this evening, your one-stop shop for all your personal finance requirements. And just last week, the RBI raised the benchmark short-term lending and borrowing rates by 25 basis points, 0.25%. As a direct uh, result, banks have started to slowly increase their lending rates. They've taken the cue from the Reserve Bank soon. Home loans, auto loans, consumer loans, personal loans, others will become dearer by as much as 1%. Nearly six uh, PSU banks have already announced their hikes in uh, their base rates and deposit rates by 25 to 50 basis points across various maturities. And home loan lender HDFC has already raised uh, both home and auto loans by a quarter of a percent. What exactly does this mean uh, for you now? Of course, it means that you'll have to pay more for everything that you borrow. And not only that, your EMIs will also rise. Uh, to discuss this, Harsh Rungta is here from apnapesa.com. Always good to have you, Harsh. Now, do tell us, in this kind of scenario, more bad news, uh, like uh, you were just saying a while ago in the break, uh, not uh, very steady cues coming in from the markets. And uh, right now, we are in a rising interest rate scenario. What should be top of mind? Well, I think uh, there are steady cues that interest rates are going to go up. Uh, and I'm afraid that this is not the last in the series of increases. We'll probably see more increases uh, going forward both uh, from uh, cues that RBI will give, probably. Right. Just uh, one sec, Harsh. Uh, we have uh, breaking news coming in on the channel. Let's go across to the headquarters of the uh, Central Bureau of Investigation. The spokesperson is addressing the media about the arrest of the former minister. Information technology, the then Secretary Telecom, and the then Private Secretary to Union Minister of Communication and Information Technology. Earlier, CBI had registered a case against unknown officials of Department of Telecommunication, unknown private persons and companies and others under various sections of Indian Penal Code and PC Act. Thank you. सीबीआई ने आज यूनिफाइड एक्सेस सर्विस लाइसेंस और स्पेक्ट्रम के आवंटन में हुई अनियमितताओं के संबंध में चल रही जांच के दौरान तथ्यों के अभी तक के खुलासे के आधार पर तत्कालीन केंद्रीय संचार एवं सूचना प्रौद्योगिकी मंत्री तत्कालीन सचिव दूर संचार और केंद्रीय संचार एवं सूचना प्रौद्योगिकी मंत्री के तत्कालीन निजी सचिव को गिरफ्तार किया है सीबीआई ने इससे पहले दूर संचार विभाग के अज्ञात अधिकारियों अज्ञात व्यक्तियों कंपनियों तथा अन्य के खिलाफ आईपीसी और पीसी एक्ट की विभिन्न धाराओं के तहत एक मामला दर्ज किया था those visuals directly coming from the Central Bureau of Investigation, the headquarters in the national capital, talking about the arrest of A. Raja, the former telecom minister. And here we are looking at the entire personal finance space. And I was just asking uh, Harsh about uh, the kind of things that you must consider in this uh, scenario where everything is uncertain, you're looking at the arrest of a former minister, everything just seems so dicey and you want to play it safe, obviously, in times when uh, things look as uncertain as they are right now. So what exactly should be top of mind, Harsh? Uh, I think, one, we should be prepared for more bad news. And the, I think as far as the limited, uh, uh, the limited sphere of uh, EMIs are concerned, if you're already a borrower, Okay, in spite of the rising inflation, etc., you need to sort of keep a cushion, mm -hmm. uh, some sort of a cushion. I know it's difficult in current times uh, that now when the rates increase, your EMI may go up. So far, when the rates have been increasing, yeah. the banks have been increasing the tenure because that much leeway had been there. Sure. But now, because these are rise on top of rises. So, how much of a buffer should one create, Harsh? How exactly should one calculate what would be good enough? Because like you said, if you are going to uh, buy a home, any time is a good enough time. You shouldn't be waiting if it's a primary home, etc. There will be changes coming about. Absolutely. Perhaps you might want to wait right now for things to settle a little bit. Would you suggest that at all? Uh, if it's your primary home, unless you are in Bombay or Delhi, where I think there is a clear expectation that prices are going to fall. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely in Bombay. Right. Uh, but 
other than that i don't see any reason other than these two cities sure. i don't see any reason why you should wait i mean if you made up your mind to buy right uh, then you should go i don't see any reason reason things will be different 3 months down exactly. the line exactly not dramatically different in Absolutely. any case and in the long run everything kind of settles so but that buffer is very important because you don't want to be in a situation where uh, you have creditors running after you absolutely so how do you uh, calculate how much of a buffer is enough so typically i i suggest that for every lakh of loan uh, right every 1 lakh of uh, loan uh, you ought to keep roughly about 100 rupees a month mm -hmm. as buffer right uh, that that takes care of roughly about 1% to 1.5% rise right okay uh, even for a shorter duration loan so rough this is a very rule of the thumb kind of a thing sure so if your uh, say car loan is 5 lakhs okay uh, typically car loans fortunately 70 80% of car loans are fixed rate right but if you are on a floating rate loan please keep that buffer right uh, home loans most of them are floating rate loans if you have a 30 lakh uh, loan uh i think uh, keep that uh, 3000 rupees right. uh, extra sure and if month. you're going shopping for uh, loans right now obviously uh, it's not like you are completely spoiled uh, for choice because uh, at uh, the kind of range that we've got right now it's fairly restricted but even so what's the best way of being able to analyze what's a good deal that you're getting so as you said i mean there is a lot of competition out there uh, between banks to get your home loan especially if you have a good credit uh, record etc yes Uh, the difference in rates is not much not much right uh, there are not too many options where interest rates are fixed sure i think uh, except for one uh, off the shelf uh, the only one that i remember is lic housing finances uh, five year fixed rate loan right, right? Uh, which is i think 9.75 it might have increased with the they have not yet announced an increase but it might right. increase soon uh, that's the only one that i remember Okay. Uh, and possibly that's not a bad deal currently all right uh, but other than that i think you just have to keep that buffer and hope for the best all right harsh thank you so much for joining us uh, with that inside of course uh, there will be many more questions which you can always email to us at our email id which is smartmoney at utvmoney.com alternatively at oncall at utvmoney.com we take a small breather but we will return to talk about uh, 3g phones which are the best ones in the market where you get good value for money we'll talk about that in just a bit do stay tuned